This time around, uh, my exhibition, um, Tree Homes, centered around Australian wildlife that uh, lives, um, nests, and socializes in Australian trees. So um, this is a mix of Australian birds, mammals, reptiles, um, and insects. All using, um, you know, you know, my, my technique of, um, you know, collage, which is, um, you know, a combination of like exploring color, shape. Um, I've used, you know, introduced some metallic um, paints into this series as well, and um, yeah, and then also exploring um, new resin sculptures as well. I think um, the last few years. I've kind of really um, learned to, I think, mellow and not be as stressed within work. I, I can be a bit of a workaholic, so I think I'm finally getting to a point where I'm getting a good work-life balance. Um, that said, though, um, I'm always continually exploring and experimenting with different mediums and techniques, and yeah, my love for um, wildlife is always you know, evident in what I do. Always drawn to Australian birds. Um, they're colourful, their personalities are fantastic, they're cheeky, and I see myself kind of in them, in the way they kind of um, socialise. I could watch them for hours, I absolutely adore them. And this, yeah, there's just so many glorious ones. Favourites? Um, cockatoo, galah, rainbow lorikeet would probably be there. Like I have um, galahs on my front lawn quite a lot, so. Um, I really love, I didn't just sit there having a cup of watching them. Uh, ceramics. Um, that said, I have no idea where I'm going to put a key on in my studio. Um, but yeah, like I'm all, like I love just buying things and experimenting with it. So I know there's going to be catastrophic failures, but I don't care. It's just, it's about the, the process, the learning. I enjoy that. So that's, um, yeah, like people will probably never see my earlier pieces if I ever go down that way. I'll probably be too embarrassed to ever show them. But um, yeah, I'm all, all, I love getting my hands dirty and just diving in head first. It's, um, yeah, it's fun and exciting to me. To be honest, it's fairly close as it is. Um, I've, um, like, I'm a messy artist. I'm not go I don't hide that. I'm, I, mean, I wear that with a bit of a badge. Um, like I, I have my wonderful partner, Mark, who um, is an ex-chef, so his organisational skills are amazing. So he's actually set up um, the studio space really quite neat. Everything's in its right place. Um, but everyone, yeah, um, I, I think it's a good balance, um, being messy and also um, being tidy as well. But I, I, I love it. It's, it's probably, um, at the moment, I um, probably need more more room if I want to um, broaden out into other areas. So that's just something that happens growing. Um, never wasn't intentional, but um, that's probably, yeah, but I, I love where I am. I, my studio is an old horse stable and there's just such charm and character and I love coming in here every day. Ooh, look, I have, I have so many ideas in my head. Um, Look, the future's always going to be bright and colourful. Like, I'm always drawn to colour. Um, what, depending on my subject matter, I, I know there's always going to be wildlife because that's a huge passion of mine. Um, that said, another passion of mine is um, kind of um, like a bit, bit of a geek, Dungeons and Dragons, Pokemon. I wouldn't mind exploring kind of those worlds at some point. Um, but that said, I don't. I, I just take each kind of day as it comes. I try not to plan too much in the future. Otherwise, um, I get overwhelmed. So I just have to kind of pick the path um, when it presents and go from there. But yeah, this brain's got a lot of ideas left in it to keep going. So yeah, who knows? You, you'll you know, be a surprise.